Let's talk about Xbox Series X Pro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So recently I'm sure you've heard about the, all the rumors about PlayStation 5 Pro from Tom Henderson. So a number of you actually uh, DM'd me recently asking me, do I know anything about Xbox Series X Pro, right? So that's why I'm making this video really, because uh, yeah, Okay, so first off, there's no official information on new Xbox console per se. I mean, there's been some rumors in the past, even uh, t uh, Tom of Moore's Law spoke about it. There's been some rumors from Paul of Red Gaming Tech. Uh, he was even talking about that Xbox Series S Pro with some uh, extended machine learning capabilities and stuff and upscaling capabilities. So uh, that just goes to show that Xbox is, is experimenting, they are building prototypes and stuff. But the thing about these prototypes is that sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work, sometimes they achieve what engineers are trying to do. And I mean, that's why they build them, right? They experiment, they um, try different technologies out and stuff. Sometimes um, it uh, finds its way as a final product, sometimes it don't. So apparently that uh, the upscaled Xbox Series S console was cancelled because it wasn't really, you know, I guess doing a good job, I, I, I guess. But when it comes to Xbox Series X Pro, I think that machine will happen sooner or later. Now, looks like PlayStation 5 Pro will release like next year, like late next year. That's what Tom Henderson believes. So that's what he's getting from his sources. So um, I don't think that Xbox will do it that quick, uh, but if PlayStation releases a new console, I'm sure that Xbox will react to it some one way or the other, especially that <clears throat> these type of consoles uh, would be good for their um, blades for server blades. Uh, blades, I actually spoke about it because if you produce a more powerful console, you can run uh, more instances of the game at the same time that, uh, that well, if you've got that kind of machine, that saves a ton of money for Xbox, for Microsoft, because not only it uh, draws less energy, so less of our electricity bill for Microsoft, and they are barely paying a lot for these servers. And on top of that, you need more of these uh, machines to run more games. So that makes sense even from business business perspective. So even if Microsoft or Xbox wouldn't be interested in building uh, a more powerful console for us gamers, it makes it actually more sense for them to build more powerful, smaller chip. I mean, size would be pretty much the same, but in a smaller uh, technology, uh, it makes sense for them because it makes <coughs> a lot of business, um, um, you know, it, it makes sense, right? Especially that they are, they are really investing more and more in machine learning. So I would imagine that such a console, such a chip for new console would have uh, better ML capabilities, more ray tracing capabilities and that kind of stuff. So that would be very good for the servers, not only for cloud streaming, but also for, um, you know, general purpose, uh, uh, like, you know, business purposes and stuff. Machine learning is very useful these days and stuff. So it makes sense. So right now I haven't really heard any uh, concrete r information or anything like play Xbox Series X Pro related. But sooner or later, I'm sure they will build it, especially that I think that the whole concept of generations is actually going away slowly. So I would imagine that Microsoft would be more interested in releasing consoles every three, four years rather than wait 10 years for next console. It just makes more sense, like I said, especially from a server's perspective. I would not, I don't think they would like to uh, run all these old uh, Xbox Series X servers for too long, right? It makes no sense because it just takes space, uh, produce a lot of heat, uh, draws a lot of energy. So producing bigger chips in, in smaller uh, technology makes more sense. So yeah, that's all I know for now. If I learn more about it, I'll let you know. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.